Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to draw the rack and pinion mechanism in Creo. The rack and pinion mechanism is used to convert the rotational motion into the translatory motion. Here, the pinion undergoes the rotational motion whereas the rack undergoes the linear motion. The rack and pinion mechanism is used in the steering systems in automobiles. Ok, let's get into the video. At first, I am going to create my first spot. Here I am going to draw two circles and I am going to enter the diameter value as 100 and this diameter value as 30 and then give a check mark to it. And now I am going to select the extrude command and here I am going to extrude it to a value of 15 and here I am going to select the symmetric option and then give a check mark to it. And then I am going to select this face and click on sketch view and here I am going to draw a line. And before that let me select the reference option and make this as a reference and then here I am going to draw a line. And here I am going to enter this value as 0.75. And here I am going to enter this value as total length as 1.5. And this dimension I am going to edit this as 58. And then I am going to draw a line. And then let me enter a value of 2.5 and then I'm going to use the R command and select the first point and second point. And I'm going to enter this radius value as 3.5 and then I'm going to mirror this one. For that let me draw a center line and then holding down the control key select these entities and then select the mirror command and select this center line. And now my Object has been successfully mirrored and I'm going to use the project tool to project this one. And then use the trim tool to remove the unwanted entities in my sketch. And now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And then I'm going to select the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 15. Let me enter a value of 15 and then give a check mark to it. And now I am going to pattern this one. Select the extrude and select the pattern. And I am going to select the axis pattern here. Select the axis pattern and here I am going to select this axis. And I want 24 quantities and here in the angle option I am going to enter 360 divided by 24 which gives me an angle of 15. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to apply the round feature to it. Select the round and I'm going to select this edge and then this edge and then give a check mark to it. And I'm going to pattern this round command by selecting the reference pattern and then give a check mark to it. And now my feature gets completed and I'm going to save this one. Go to file and then save as and I'm going to save this in the desktop by creating a new folder named rack and pinion and then click on ok and I'm going to save this file name as pinion path and then click on ok and now let me close this one and I'm going to create the rack part I'm going to set the same MMNS path solid as my unit and here I'm going to select a front plane and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a rectangle. I want this length as 300 and I'm going to change this width as 12 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to select the extrude and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 20 and also I'm going to make this as a symmetric extrude and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to select this face and then click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a center line. And I'm going to enter the dimension as 2.5 and then I'm going to draw a line. Select the line and here I'm going to draw a line like this. And I'm going to select the dimension command and select this point 
and this center line and enter a value of 0.75 and then select in this point and then this center line and I'm going to make this as 0.75 also and I'm going to select this line and this line and enter a value of 8 and then I'm going to select the line command and select my first point and then use the R command and join these two lines and in the radius option I'm going to enter a value of 3.5 And using the control key, I'm going to select these two entities and then mirror by using the mirror option. And then I'm going to join these two by drawing a line and give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to extrude this one and let me extrude it to value of 20 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to pattern this one. Select the extrude and I'm going to select the pattern and here I'm going to select the direction pattern and I'm going to select this edge here and I'm going to flip the direction of it by using this invert tool and I'm going to enter a value of 23 and in the distance option I'm going to enter a value of 13 and then give a check mark to it and now my rack path is created successfully and I'm going to save this one and now I'm going to create the axis Select the axis and I'm going to select this front line and holding down the control key select the top line. And now my axis is created successfully and then click on OK. And I'm and now I'm going to save this one. I'm going to select file, save as and I'm going to save this in the desktop with a name called Rackpot. And then click on OK. And now let me close this one and now I'm going to create the assembly file. Select new assembly and make sure that your unit is an MMNS assembly design. And in the environment I'm going to create an axis. Select this plane and holding down the control key select the top plane. And now my axis is created and then click on OK. And now I'm going to assemble the rack part. Select the assemble and then rack part. And here I'm going to select and here I'm going to select this axis of the rack and let me move this one and then select the axis which I have created and make a slider connection to it. And now I'm going to select this front plane with this plane. And now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And if I select the drag components, my rack pot is moving successfully. And now I'm going to create the pinion. Before that, let me create a point here. So I'm going to select this plane and go to sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a 3D point. Before that, let me draw a center line here. And draw a center line like this. And then I'm going to select the point command. Select the point and draw a point here and I'm going to make this dimension value as 58. And now my point is created successfully on the center line which I have created and I'm going to give a check mark made. And now with this use of the point I'm going to create an axis. Select the point and holding down the control key select this plane. And now my axis is created normal to the plane which I have selected. And now I'm going to assemble the pinion and make this as a pin mechanism and select this axis with this axis and then select this plane with the plane and then give a check mark to it. And now I have successfully assembled the rack and pinion part. And let me add some color to it. I'm going to apply red color to the pinion and blue color to the rack. And now I'm going to select the application tab and mechanism. Here I'm going to select the gear mechanism. And in the type you have various options. I'm going to select this the rack and pinion part. And 
I'm going to select the pinion by selecting this axis. And I know the value of pitch circle diameter and I'm going to enter it as 103. And click on apply. And go to the rack option. And here I'm going to select this slider axis. And click on apply. And then click on OK. And let me check this animation by just selecting the drag components. And now you see that the rack and pinion mechanism which I have created is not that much perfect because it is rotating in the opposite direction. So I'm going to flip the direction of it. I'm going to select the gear and I'm going to make this as the edit definition. And then I'm going to select the rack and I'm going to flip the direction of it. And now I'm going to select the apply and click on OK. And now if I select the drag components and now it works fine. That is it. The pinion converts the rotational motion into the translatory motion by using the rack. And uh, let me close this one. And now I'm going to animate this one. Before that let me add the servo motor connection. And uh, I'm going to select this axis and in the profile details I'm going to make this as angular velocity and I'm going to enter a value of 10. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to animate this one by using the mechanism analysis. And I'm going to switch it to full screen. And here I'm going to make this as a kinematic. And in the end time I want as 100. And then select the run command. And now you see that the rack and pinion mechanism was created successfully using the Creo software. And also the rotary motion of the pinion is converted into the translatory motion of the rack. And that's it for the video. For more additional videos regarding concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.